The modern English alphabet is a Latin alphabet consisting of 26 letters a year or the same letters that are found in the ISO basic Latin alphabet. The exact shape of printed letters varies depending on the typeface. The shape of handwritten letters can differ significantly from the standard printed form, especially when written in cursive style. See the individual letter articles for information about letter shapes and origins. Written English uses a number of digraphs, such as ch, sh, th, wh, cow, etc., but they are not considered separate letters of the alphabet. Some traditions also use two ligatures, a and angstrom, or consider the ampersand part of the alphabet. History Old English the English language was first written in the Anglo-Saxon Foothawk runic alphabet, in use from the 5th century. This alphabet was brought to what is now England, along with the protoform of the language itself, by Anglo-Saxon settlers. Very few examples of this form of written Old English have survived, these being mostly short inscriptions or fragments. The Latin script, introduced by Christian missionaries, began to replace the Anglo-Saxon foothawk from about the 7th century, although the two continued in parallel for some time. Foothawk influenced the emerging English alphabet by providing it with the letters Thorn and Win. The letter Eth was later devised as a modification of D, and finally Y was created by Norman scribes from the insular G in Old English and Irish, and used alongside their Carolingian G. The AE ligature Ash was adopted as a letter its own right, named after a foothawk rune ASC. In very early Old English the OE ligature ethyl also appeared as a distinct letter, likewise named after a rune, angstrom a degree L. Additionally, the VV or UU ligature W was in use. In the year 1011, a monk named Bicht for a degree recorded the traditional order of the Old English alphabet. He listed the 24 letters of the Latin alphabet first, then five additional English letters, Starting with the Tyronean note and an insular symbol for and, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, V, X, Y, Z, and a sh, C, A, A, a modern English, in the orthography of modern English, thorn, eth, win, young, ash, and ethyl are obsolete. Latin borrowings reintroduced homographs of ash and ethyl into Middle English and Early Modern English, though they are not considered to be the same letters but rather ligatures and in any case are somewhat old-fashioned. Thorn and Eth were both replaced by TH, though Thorn continued in existence for some time, its lowercase form gradually becoming graphically indistinguishable from the minuscule Y in most handwriting. Y for TH can still be seen in pseudo-archaisms such as Uldi Bookshop. The letters of three quarters and a degree are still used in present-day Icelandic and Faroese. Win disappeared from English around the 14th century when it was supplanted by UU, which ultimately developed into the modern W. YA disappeared around the 15th century and was typically replaced by GH. The letters U and J, as distinct from V and I, were introduced in the 16th century, and W assumed the status of an independent letter, so that the English alphabet is now considered to consist of the following 26 letters. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z, the variant lowercase form long s lasted into early modern English, and was used in non-final position up to the early 19th century. The ligatures A and angstrom were until the 19th century used in formal writing for certain words of Greek or Latin origin, such as Encyclopedia and Carlum, although such ligatures were not used in either Classical Latin or Ancient Greek. These are now rendered as E and A in all types of writing, although in American English, alone E has mostly supplanted both. Several people have proposed alternative scripts for written English, mostly extending or replacing the basic English alphabet, such as the Desert alphabet, the Shavian alphabet, Greg shorthand, English Braille, etc. Diacritics Diacritic marks mainly appear in loan words such as Norway and for section aid. As such words become naturalized in English, there is a tendency to drop the diacritics, as has happened with old borrowings such as Hartel, from French. Informal English writing tends to omit diacritics because of their absence from the keyboard, while professional copywriters and typesetters tend to include them. Words that are still perceived as foreign tend to retain them. For example, 
the only spelling of supersection on found in English dictionaries uses the diacritic. Diacritics are also more likely to be retained where there would otherwise be confusion with another word, and, rarely, even added. Occasionally, especially in older writing, diacritics are used to indicate the syllables of a word, cursed is pronounced with one syllable, while cursed is pronounced with two. A is used widely in poetry, for example in Shakespeare's sonnets. Similarly, while in chicken coop the letters U represent a single vowel sound, in obsolete spelling such as O paragraph logist and Co paragraph paration, they represent two. An acute, grave or diuresis may also be placed over any at the end of a word to indicate that it is not silent, as in Sarka copyright. However, these devices are often not used even where they would serve to alleviate some degree of confusion. Ampersand the int has sometimes appeared at the end of the English alphabet, as in Bicht for degree S list of letters in 1011. Historically, the figure is a ligature for the letters A. In English and many other languages it is used to represent the word and and occasionally the Latin word A, as in the abbreviation in C. Apostrophe, the apostrophe, while not considered part of the English alphabet, is used to abbreviate English words. A few pairs of words, such as its and its, were and we're, and shed and shed are distinguished in writing only by the presence or absence of an apostrophe. The apostrophe also distinguishes the possessive endings s and s from the common plural ending s, a practice introduced in the 18th century. Before, all three endings were written s, which could lead to confusion. Letter names, the names of the letters are rarely spelled out, except when used in derivations or compound words, derived forms and in the names of objects named after letters in printing and Y in railroading. The forms listed below are from the Oxford English Dictionary. Vowels stand for themselves, and consonants usually have the form consonant plus A or E plus consonant. The exceptions are the letters H, J, K, Q, R, S, Y, and Z. Plurals of consonants end in S or, in the cases of H, S, and X, in S. Plurals of vowels end in is. These are rare. Of course, all letters may stand for themselves, generally in capitalized form, and plurals may be based on these. Some groups of letters, such as P and B, or M and N, are easily confused in speech, especially when heard over the telephone or a radio communications link. Spelling alphabets such as the ICAO spelling alphabet, used by aircraft pilots, police and others, are designed to eliminate this potential confusion by giving each letter a name that sounds quite different from any other. Etymology, the names of the letters are for the most part direct descendants, via French, of the Latin names. The regular phonological developments are, palatalization before front vowels of Latin successively to, and finally to Middle French. Effect C, palatalization before front vowels of Latin to Proto-Romance and Middle French. Affects G, fronting of Latin to Middle French, becoming Middle English and then Modern English. Affects Q, U, the inconsistent lowering of Middle English to. Affects R, the great vowel shift, shifting all Middle English long vowels. Affects A, B, C, D, E, G, H, I, K, O, P, T, and presumably Y. The novel forms are H. A regular development of medieval Latin acca. J, a new letter presumably vocalized like neighboring K to avoid confusion with established G. B, a new letter named by analogy with a majority. W, a new letter, self explanatory. Y, of obscure origin but with an antecedent in Old French we. Z, an American leveling of Z by analogy with a majority. And Z from the romance phrase I Z or I Zito, and Z said when reciting the alphabet. Phonology. The letters A, E, I, O, and E were considered vowel letters, since they represent vowels. The remaining letters are considered consonant letters, since when not silent they generally represent consonants. However, Y commonly represents vowels as well as a consonant, as very rarely does W. Conversely, U sometimes represents a consonant. W and Y are sometimes referred as semi-vowels. Letter numbers and frequencies. 
The letter most frequently used in English is E. The least frequently used letter is Z. The list below shows the frequency of letter use in a particular sample of English, although the frequencies vary somewhat according to the type of text. See also, alphabet song, NATO phonetic alphabet, English orthography, English spelling reform, American manual alphabet, two-handed manual alphabets, English braille, American braille, New York point, footnotes.